Hey there folks, this is Greeny XI welcoming you to the Green Vlog. Today is the 22nd of February and you'll probably notice that I'm back on a laptop again. I'm not stuck against, stuck with my desk and everything, so I am extremely happy. And that's because I bought a new laptop. I'll tell you more about that today. I better tell you what I've actually done today first. <laughs> I went to B&Q with my dad because all the door handles are falling apart around the house for pretty much every door. It's because we've had the house for about 14 years now and they're just screwed. So we went to be in q and because they're such old models kind of thing, they can't even get them in. We have to try and find somewhere old. Not even the people who built the houses have got them anymore, so it's... We're not really sure what to do, to be honest, but... Anyway, that's, that's that. Yesterday, anyway, yesterday, me and a mate of mine, we went to Merthyr, this local town, and we went to PC World, and I got my... I got my new laptop. It was a bit annoying because we were standing around, there was three people working there and they were all busy for about half hour. So we were just standing around waiting to actually buy the laptop. It's as if they don't actually want the service, you know. <laughs> so we bought it. It's a HP Envy. It seems like it's a good one. It, it's got backlit keyboard, which I never realised because I never said it on the box. I never said it in store anyway. And that's something I really wanted, but I was willing to compromise from this laptop because I liked everything else about it. But it's got it, so I was really happy. Anyways, as well as that, oh yeah, so the webcam is built in. So if it doesn't turn out much good, we'll see for this vlog, won't we? That's the, that's the main thing I want to look out for. I also bought, I shouldn't have, but I did, I bought a cheapy pre-owned Xbox 360. Slim, because <laughs> I used to have one when I was little. I used to have the old white Xbox 360 Slim, but now I got the black. No, it wasn't a Slim before it is now. But it was so screwed up. They couldn't read discs properly, and I was just peed off, so I just got rid of it and bought something else with the money. So now I got a proper Slim. I am going to be trying recording on that, just a test video. Keep an eye out for that. I cannot wait because if it works properly it's going to open up so many new games that I absolutely love because the 360 does have some incredible exclusive games such as the games that I bought with it I've only got three games for it four games really so far I've got Lost Odyssey this is by far my favorite 360 game that I ever owned it's from the makers of Final Fantasy like it says on the front typical JRPG, but it's got a couple of extra things built into it, into the battle system, to really make it interesting. And it's very different from Final Fantasy, even still, but it's really nice how it's done. I'll... I'll want to show this off a little bit, at least. If you do want to see a Let's Play of it, I am more than willing to, to make one. I love the game so much, and I think everyone else, everyone else will, once they see it. Other games that I got... Another exclusive, but it's on the PC on Steam and stuff as well. Alan Wake. This was a game I used to own as well. It's very much like Silent Hill, like a modern Silent Hill. You have a gun, but first off, you need to use, like, you need to use your flashlight, your torch, and the batteries within which run out to sort of make the enemies visible. Then you can shoot them once or twice and they die. It's not a shooting game by any means, but you do have to use a gun sort of it's it's not it's hard to explain without showing it i think the third game i was looking for the first left for dead but i got the second one instead because it was the only one they had they pre-owned i didn't want to go too expensive with all this you know but i got the second one it's got all the maps from the first game anyway so it's all good all the characters and stuff an incredible game if i'm got it it's also available on steam if you wanted to and it works perfectly well on steam this game came free with the pre-owned 360 for some reason. It's still new, but it came free as if they needed some incentive to sell off the old 360s kind of thing. So Terraria, it isn't a game that's ever gripped me or anything, but I think I'll give it a go. I'll, I'll try it, you know. You never know. That's also on Steam, funnily enough. There's so many console games that are also on Steam. We'll see how that turns out. So they're the games I go with the 360. There's also all my digital games that I had from years ago when I had the old 360. So long as they're still around, I don't know if they suspend your account or anything for not having one, for not using it for so long, do they? I'm not sure. But I'm so excited to give it a go. What I'm going to do is set it up. 
Yeah, and I set it up. After this, did that just go funny? I need to turn the screen save off. <laughs> ah, yeah. I'll try the 360 out after this. Well, there's a blowed in, probably. Other than that, what did I do yesterday? Oh, yeah. I've been reading the Yu Gi Oh manga. I know, I know. It's nerdy and it's for kids. <laughs> the manga ain't quite so much for kids. It's got swearing, it's got death and stuff in it. You'd be surprised. I know the anime is for kids. I know fully well that is, but. But the manga isn't quite so much. It's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Even even with the content it is. If I'm new to Yu Gi Oh! I think everyone will have by now. It's like a play, a dueling card game, uh, like uh, Magic, Mighty Magic, is that the name of it? Or is it Magic the Gathering? One of the two. <laughs> yeah, similar names. But entirely different rules. More creative monsters, I would say. More fun, where the Magic one is sort of quite serious and dark, the card artwork and stuff like that. Yeah, so I've been reading that, and I've got to the Battle City tournament where it's Joey versus Yugi, and it's all it's all kicking off. They're both gonna die by the end of it. That's what it's building up to be. Anyways, what else have I been doing? Oh, last night I went and watched a couple of films over mate's house. The same year do I went to Myrtle with. We watched My Neighbor Totoro, which is this. It's a Studio Ghibli film. It's a very basic, innocent, animated movie, but it's really well drawn. Totoro is this guy, and these two kids, to find him, and it makes it quite sort of fantasy-ish. The rest of the film is quite realistic, it's drawn to be really realistic, but when it comes to Totoro, not so much. You know, I've got a t-shirt and I never knew who Totoro was until I saw the DVD on the shelf, and then I thought, that's what's on my t-shirt. Yeah. So that's really good. What else have we been doing? Skies of Arcadia, I've been carrying on playing. It's, it's still good. I finally got a four-man party, which has taken a couple of hours. It's a slow starting game, and I think the game's going to be slow in general, by the looks of it. Even the action -y sequences are quite slowed down by the gameplay mechanics kind of thing. Yeah, but I'm enjoying it so much, so much. Otherwise, I watched Halloween 2 as well last night. I've seen... We saw the first Halloween film, like, a couple of weeks ago. And we decided to watch the second one last night. It was... It's very cheesy, very old-fashioned horror film, but... It's quite creative with some of the deaths. Some of the deaths are probably as creative as, like, Final Destination, which I imagine to be the most creative deaths in a horror film that I've ever seen, anyway. So, yeah, I recommend Halloween 2. Halloween 1 and 2. If you like your slashers. <laughs> Finally. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The next two weeks are going to be really stressful because my workmate, who shares all the work with me, is actually going on holidays for two weeks. And I'm there to do it on my own. My boss will be there as well, but he expects me to do it all, I think. He might... He might... Be more lenient and actually do a bit of the work but i can't see it happening we'll see we'll see how that goes <laughs> so i will be making vlogs but once again no let's plays until that's all over with it's gonna be horrible but after those two weeks are done i get a week off myself so <laughs> get some time off to start my next let's play and do whatever the hell i want and hopefully it won't be raining all the time like it is like it is now it's actually snowing this morning and yesterday morning. It hadn't snowed for ages and I was hoping it was done, but... <laughs> now maybe it is. Maybe it is. Because it's coming up to spring. I think that's about all I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, I want to try Banjo-Kazooie on the 360. That's another thing I'm really excited about. And i got so many digital games on there that I can't... I can't remember what they are. But I will do. Another game I want to get for 360 because it's exclusive to 360 over here. And I think in America as well. Yeah, in America as well is Tales of Vesperia. You can't get it on PS3 over here. Not that it matters anymore, because I got a 360 now, but... You know. I'm excited for that. Ah, I hope this video turns out okay. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> so, 
this has been oh wait wait I've been trying if you go on fanfantasyforums.net is a is a forum me it's supposed to be for Final Fantasy, but everyone talks about everything you know Final Fantasy and exactly the Final Fantasy and exactly the main theme of the fa of the forum anymore it's still got all like tomvies and stuff around as the icons and things like that but people don't generally talk to it talk, talk about it as much as general stuff in life lately but now we got this twitch thing embedded above the shout box which li you link up your twitch to the forum and then every time you go on you go to stream on your ps4 or directly through twitch or whatever you're doing it shows it on the main page of the forum just above the shout box so everybody who goes on the forum notices it and you're going to get loads of views and everything and you know you don't even have to go on there and click anything every time you stream it just happens automatically the only thing you need to do is get 500 gil on the website first which involves i think it's one gil per post you make around the forum so you might need to make 500 posts or talk in the shout box a bit or maybe try and get somebody to give you their gil <laughs> which you can do i can't see anyone doing it until they get to know you a bit but you know yeah, so I encourage you to come on over to FanFantasyForums.net and actually get some attention from your from your Twitch streams because it's a good way of going about it and it gives us a bit of activity as well so it's, it's win-win for everyone involved. And I tried it myself, it's just my internet connection isn't good enough for streaming really. I've tried it a couple of times before, sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's not. It's for some reason, when I go through the PS4, it's normally fine. But when I try and do PC games, or console games, not so much. It really lags and jumps about and everything. And I don't know why. If anyone could give me some help about that, I don't know. I think it's my internet connection, but... I don't know. I really don't know what it is. So anyway, that's about all I wanted to talk about today. I hope this video turns out okay. Give me some feedback. if. My commentary is a bit quiet, a bit loud, or whatever. If the video quality ain't good enough, I still got my old webcam that I use on the PC. My old PC. <laughs> That's my setup over there. PC down the floor, which you can't quite see. There's millions of wires for all the consoles and stuff. And there's the big telly with the webcam. And the poster I'm really proud of. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Yeah. I really like having the laptop as well because I can I can go and make vlogs now in different rooms of the house and stuff like that. There we go. <laughs> different rooms of the house and stuff like that, so that's nice. Like I used to with the old laptop, you know. Yeah, I've missed having a laptop because I hate being stuck at a desktop and being stuck in one room all the time trying to do all my editing and all my different internet stuff. Anyways, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again next time when. It's going to be a Monday tomorrow, which is going to be even more busy than usual at work. So I might not have a vlog up tomorrow, but I might do. So who knows? It'll either be tomorrow or Tuesday anyway. So we'll see. We'll see. See you in a bit, folks.